I could not believe how how trash the shops were. I'm going straight. I'm, I'm rage quitting to free to play. It's a roller coaster. It, I, dude, honestly, I feel like maybe I offended the Super Auto Pets developers, and they've taken it upon themselves to mm, inject some malicious code into my game in order to humble me. But what they don't don't yet know is I refuse to be humbled. Instead, we'll just rework the meta in our own image as the creamy nuts. <clears throat> Three ducks. Honk, honk. Very clever. Very clever. How humorous. Very droll. You would think it would be possible that at some point with four different animals on the squad, you would see an animal that you already had in the shop out of three possibilities, but apparently not. Whatever. Nevertheless, I persist. Hey, look. You're not wrong. It is, I guess, uh, somewhat interesting. Wouldn't you suggest that right after I insulted the Pope, His Holiness? I was going to say His Majesty, His Holiness. Uh, I got the worst shop of all time. I'm, I'm not saying that that has, you know, changed where I stand or anything like that, but I would like to apologize to the to Francis for my earlier ignorance. I don't mind. Not bad. Level 3 beaver already. Okay. So, this is a, a bit of a strange team, but strange teams win in the early game as long as they got stats. It is not going to beat a camel, though. That is, <laughs> that is very true. But this is still, I'm highly optimistic. I don't really have a place for a parrot right now. Two parrots, on the other hand. Now you've got my attention. I think we almost have to, just because they could be anything. And honestly, their stats are not that bad. Like, they'll be a 7-4. We'll have them as, like, a probably a mosquito first, which is not that good, but... All right. We're bringing it back. Very nice. This mosquito probably does not have to be here anymore, but... I also think we should accept our horse does not have to be here any longer. Although... Nah... Yeah. Yeah, I support this. What a ripoff. You need garlic more than anything else. Let's... Okay, hold on. A parrot behind an ox can do some actual work believers i'm you're in good hands you're in good hands right now i'm not again saying this run is going to get you like this round is going to get you there but this run is on a great line if you can't see it then i feel bad for you quite frankly one of these hits the spot then, honestly, you put that horse up at the front. You move you a little bit to the back. We feed you once. Freeze me. Roll me. I sleep. I, it's not too late for a swan, but it's too late for me to be excited by the concept of a swan. Why don't you just take a pair and move on? You already know I'm on the perfect line. Thank God that was not a level 2 hedgehog. Don't. Thank you, thank you. Nice try. Four wins. We're back. This is my design. I sleep. I continue sleeping. It's getting a little insulting, honestly. Uh, now we're talking. 
Yes. The horse has got to go. It's a 6-4. It gets two triggers on the ox. We can make it work. We can make it work. What the heck? This camel kangaroo is too strong. Okay, this round we're going down. Chad, be honest with me. Does this put me on lethal? The squirrel, rabbit, kangaroo, ox strategy. It does put us on lethal. What the hell, man? I can't be playing this game when people have the day off from work. It's too much. Okay, that's important. That would have crushed the camel. People, it's it's early enough in the game, people will still roll their big stuff up at the front. No sweat. Level two badger. Closing in on a level three parrot. Oops. Oops. We win these. Okay, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Roll me. I really wanted to see a parrot, just to be honest with you, but let's let's feed that parrot a little deeper. Just gotta get one more. Very nice. Hold on. Hold on. We've done it. Believers get paid out. The problem is figuring out from here what the parrot does. Because if we sell the ox, the parrot does nothing. Unless you put it behind the, <laughs> like the badger, but that's not what you're looking for. Um, maybe, okay, hear me out. I'm not going to take the bison. Eh, maybe, no, I'm not going to take the bison. I'm going to sell, I'm going to, I'm going to sell the ox. I'm going to get crazy. I'm going to roll parrot boar. I'm going to sell the beaver to try to give some extra HP to, th that's fine. That's not that bad. Get statted. I would love to see a tiger. What I was also going to say is I would love to see one more scorpion. I think one more scorpion could hit the spot. This is interesting. We still probably die in like one hit. Careful, he's a hero. Yep. <laughs> it's honestly first off let me just say i'm happy to pay out the believers but also like that's what i that's what plays in my head whenever people go like he doesn't respect the boar enough literally like every time i've had it except one i feel like i've been in a situation where it attacks two times and then dies and i'm like oh i'm fucked i think it needs it needs a little more Honestly, that order is terrible, but I still think it's the right play. Be the hard bagels, man. You played it for one round? How could you say that? Yeah, well, because we had two boars, and it uh, lost immediately. I would have played it for more rounds if it had won enough to keep me around, you know? Hold on. You've been fed. We got to freeze this. Give me two of these instead. Level two board did its job. If its job is losing, I would say it did its job quite well. That's all right. In many ways, I think the horse getting sniped is probably for the best. Feed me. You're going to have to combine me and then feed me. I don't mind. I would say a rabbit is effective. And you know what? Let's focus on the positives here. This is a very easy run to sell a horse on. Isn't the boar just a better hippo? Um, look, I'm, I'm being nice. You are so lucky. It's a tier 6 unit, so it shows up late. A hippo has like 4 extra rounds to, to get stat benefits from something like a monkey or some food. 
Whereas a boar shows up like out of nowhere and is like, help me. I think it needs a little extra. That's, that's just my two cents on the boar. You know. But if we're going to do it like this, we should do it like that. They said sh should switch boar and hippo. I would actually say like the hippo is fine. I think it's situationally overpowered, which is totally acceptable. Sometimes it does nothing. Sometimes it does uh, it does everything. I don't think you need to change the hippo at all. I would definitely make the boar maybe like a like a tier five, but. I'm never going to pill you if you're this high up. Just take that for now. Take this for now. We got to start feeding if we're going to keep a rabbit. It's actually like my, my problem with a lot of the, the tier six animals. It's why I think like I typically for the tier sixes, like I only take scalers. The effect of a tier six has to be really amazing to make up for the fact that it shows up so late. You don't need to be here anymore. We'll take a small stat hit to get a nice little HP gain. Honestly, I don't mind. I don't know who's sticking around, though. Like, this, this squad is kind of terrible. But I think, you know what? It's, it's kind of only <laughs> terrible in... In name alone, it's actual, like, stats are pretty good. What the heck, double banter? What the heck, double banter? That's kind of amazing. I'm impressed. Combine. Don't pill. Play me. Play me. Play me. Garlic on the cricket next. Maybe garlic on the swan next, too. We got a rabbit. We can afford it. This is good enough. This, this is a believer win 100%. I just gotta remember it. You gotta take it down to to first principles. If you have an ox, you will win matches. The end. It's just that simple. I don't even think we pivot to a seal, man. I think I'm happy where I stand here. Kangaroo underrated is probably like one of the most popular. Uh, units in its tier. Just because I'm not playing it right now doesn't mean it's like structurally underrated. One more. You know what? Not going to be a popular choice. Wait, we don't have a seal available. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I froze it. Okay, let's just take the easy win then. You're going to go next. Okay, get one of these. One of these. One of these. One of these. Level 2 Swan or Rabbit incoming. Scorpion might actually be necessary. In order for us to kill a unit that high, has high HP, because we have no units with high HP, which is pretty, like, par for the course for me, personally. The math was perfect. A simple calculus. There you go. Level 3 ant? It matters. I, I'm not sure it matters that much. Honestly, I think you got to go. <laughs> mm. 
Not going to be everybody's favorite cup of tea there. You know what? How much more food are we eating? Probably not that much. Get sold. Get bought. Whoop. Excuse me. Give me the Enormo Cricket. And we're popping. It's a bit atypical. This one's gonna hurt. <laughs> they had some heavy scaling. Big cricket up in NYC. One of these, round 11. You could say some positive things about a snake here. Okay, no cricket, please. Yes, yes. Well, that's pretty good. If we win this round, this snake has got a good chance. We could sell Swan for a tiger. Ah, uh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, this seems like a terrible situation. <laughs> Sorry, we paid out the believers. That's something. Man, the believers down bad. We were at a 57-43 there. Usually we're like 80-20. Just goes to show you how, how much damage we did with the, the start of the stream today. Send it. Be the moist abs. How does anyone have any points? If you're new to the world of gambling, I feel like it's worth noting that every time you lose points, somebody else is receiving an equivalent amount. So you might be of the perception that like, oh, it's so hard to win points. But if you've lost like eight times, there's somebody on the opposite side of that trade that is like, thank you for the points. Also, the amount of points in the system only increases. It's like the American Federal Reserve M.2 money supply. It only goes up. It's a good business to be in. Crickets but no horses. Have you lost your mind? Okay. Combine me. Combine me. Buy me. Buy me. Ooh, don't buy me. It's all garbage. It's all garbage. You know what? I don't buy any of these trash animals. Put meat on a cricket. There was never a doubt in my mind that we would at least draw. Buy me. Combine me. Turtle me. I like a turtle. I like a turtle. I don't like any of these animals. Honestly, put him, put meat on my turtle. I'd rather invest in my in my turtle than just buy something I'm going to sell next turn anyway. Even if we lose this round, I think it makes our long-term outlook that much better. I will be honest, I didn't necessarily expect to lose that round. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> I, I hesitated for a brief moment. Lost 1-1. One, one. Son of a... Okay. I do... You know what? Toss me a rooster. There's something to be enjoyed here about a rooster. Like this. She turned on my meat till I meloned. Very true. If I had a dollar for every time that happened, man... Oh, man. You don't even want to know. I'd have like 20 bucks. No pills? No pills incoming? Okay, we got to find a way forward on this run. One thing to do is get rid of that otter like as soon as possible. Yes?
You, there's no reason for a B on the rooster. Don't be a fool. This is a roll situation. That's great stuff. Honestly, I think an ox could crush here. I... It's... This is highly atypical. Oh, it's already a level three. That's a good point. That's a good point in many ways. Um, well, this is not great. This is not a, a regular build, but I think this build gets us there, as insane as it may sound. Try this. 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 We want to see no deer. The dream team here is no deer. Clinically insane pivots. <laughs> Um, you're just jealous because I'm something of a scientist myself or whatever. Okay, they, this, like, it was a free win. It didn't even... Don't let that one even affect your worldview. Well, gobble, gobble. We could sell our horse now. I don't know what we would run. Maybe... Oh, jeez Louise, man. That's a problem. Or is it? Nah, not really. We win those. You can sell a horse, run two turkeys. I don't think you add a monkey into this one. We got some room to play with. Holy mersh! We don't care about the cricket leveling. We could have a level 2 and a level 1 turkey. Shark last, though? So true. That's true. You know what? That's true. On the other hand... <laughs> Believers win. Good start. I'm I'm sick. Give me one of those. Forget that shark, man. Forget it. Toss one of these up there. He's become the villain. Excuse me, there's no tiger yet. A deer? Resinous. Little resinous or whatever. Oh, uh, never mind. We crush it anyway. Tiger, huh? Well, a tiger is basically like a level one turkey, so we might as well buff you slightly. And then, check this out. Why don't you take one of these? Holy shit. He's pogging? I would like to get you closer to popping off. He's sick, but the truly sick thing is he doesn't want to get better. So true. It won't spawn. There's no room. That's true. True? You know what? That's true. That's a good point. That's true. On the other hand, nevertheless, we persist. Now, if it already can't fit, where do you put a fly? <laughs> You can't. Even if you sell the shark, you can't fit the fly. It just doesn't fit. We What we want, if we, if we want you to be in position three, which I think is great for us, we sell the shark, move everything back one, and run a good front unit like a scorpion. Fine. 
flies 10x better than the shark, it's going to fuck us up because we won't be spawning anything. Like, there won't be room to spawn, especially with this level 2 rooster. So I think you're going to have to sell your shark at some point and run a strong frontline unit. Look, you could probably do worse than a mammoth. So for the time being, we're just going to set it up like this. And then see how the mood strikes us. Obviously, something like a scorpion would, would hit a little better. But we don't have a scorpion. I'm going to give you a steak. And this is, I mean, this is the meta build. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. One up, Badger? He's insane? I don't even care for a level two mammoth. The only thing I'm rolling for at this point, although <laughs> to be honest, the <laughs> one up cricket is kind of disgusting. I would love to see chocolate. With no chocolate, we roll. Scorpion is too late for you. I'm I'm dancing with the one that brought me. No chocolate, no chocolate. We want to see rooster and... I don't even know if we want to see rooster because we can't fit it. But turkey, we definitely want to level up. That kangaroo does not scare me. We haven't even... Our run hasn't even started yet. Oops. All right, get this off the screen as soon as possible. I don't want to see it anymore. I'm insulted I had to go to that level. It's a nasty build. It felt good, though. It felt good. All right, one more, one more. I've been having a good time playing Super Auto Pets so far, but just one more. Just one more quick one, two quick ones. You already know I'm getting there on the perfect line. It's in your Hall of Fame forever now. Well, be that as it may. <laughs> be the hard bagels. <laughs> I've used this team name like 20 times. <laughs> Take that, Pope Francis. We rule. <clears throat> what the heck? Should have called ourselves the many fishes. Because that's what we got right now. Oh, man. Minus two? How could that be minus two? The joke, the joke made perfect sense. You know what my least favorite part of internet uh, social networks is, except for, like, the all the toxicity? Is, like, on Reddit, there will always be, like, a news headline, okay? Or, like, it doesn't matter if it's news, sports, whatever. There will be a headline, and then the top comment will always be, like, a pun... That is, and I don't like puns, but it'll be a pun that's like kind of funny. It'll rise to the top. It'll have a lot of upvotes deservedly. And then the next comment below it is somebody like absolutely trying to like shoehorn the worst fucking pun you've ever seen in your entire life. Like I think I, there was, hold on, let me go to r slash uh, hockey today, okay? Because I, I saw this while I was brushing my teeth, and I was like, just log off. Can you not just let one person tell a good joke and then laugh at it instead of like, I'm going to become part of the chain and just shove it in here even though it doesn't work? So the, the headline was, John Madden had a no pooping rule on the Madden bus, but Wayne Gretzky got a free pass. So then the top comment was, you miss 100% of the shits you don't take. Good joke. Very clever. Off the top of the dome piece. Second comment, end thread, the perfect shit post. Much worse, but at least it's still, still something. Like, at least it's, like, a little humorous. Top reply to that, pink, I see what you did there. Shut the fuck up. That's not a joke. Pink eye see what you did there because pink eye is something that spreads via fecal bacteria and I see what you did there. That's fucking horrible. Just don't, just keep that one in your head 
is horrendous. And of course it's from a Bruins fan. I probably didn't even need to tell you that, but like you you you've the best thing you could have said was nothing. And let's just leave it at that. The first you miss 100% of the shits you don't take was fine. Great joke. You don't have not every joke is an invitation to like I'm going to one up you. Just laugh and be like, so what are you going to get for lunch? Just fucking chill out. It's not about you. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? I don't like any of these animals. And then I said, pink, I see what you did there. Hold on. Can we get something that scales like a, like a truck truck? I honestly think a peacock will work here. We have the fish dream. We actually, and you know what? I think you could toss this. I think you could toss two spiders in on this. Don't brigade, okay? That's even more cringe than the original post. That's even worse. This is like we went from minus two to like minus a thousand. This is so much worse. Now you now you're making me cringe. Hold on. This needs to go here. This needs to go here. This needs to go here. Forget the spiders. We got a camel now. Camel goes here. This goes here. And all of a sudden, we're off to the freaking races. Would it still be bad if Chip said it? Chip would not say that. It's millennial humor. I say that as a millennial myself. Bad puns that people expect you to laugh at just because their wordplay is like the ultimate millennial Buffy the Vampire Slayer Joss Whedon humor graveyard. It's, it's my generation's cross to bear. I wish it weren't so. But it is. I think. Dude, I don't know. This dude, giraffes could be kind of, I don't know. This is brand new, but you know what? We could sell a fish and then put a boop right there, I think, maybe. <clears throat> Isn't Chib like 40? Yeah, nobody knows, but like the fact that he keeps saying he's 26, like that's honestly like one of the most 40 year old jokes on the planet. This is my mom used to say that all the time. Every year it was her birthday, even when she was like, you know, in her 40s or 50s. They're like, oh, I feel so old, I'm 26. And I'd be like, come on, mom. <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's get funky with it, man. Toss one of these out here. But no, I'm friends with Chip again for two... Well, we never, like... He didn't know that I stopped being friends with him. But our... Uh, our friendship has never been stronger because first he said I had a good taste in music, which is atypical of millennials. And then also he said, hey, NL, just so you know, your joke about the baby yesterday hit me in a spiritual place. And I, it's funny because after the stream, I also was like, man, that joke about the baby was actually really good. It was just the, the, the perfect callback. What joke? It's hard to explain. You kind of had to be there. You had to kind of like pink eye see what I did there. What's happening? Please, father, tell the joke. Okay, like just because I'm, you know, just because I thought it was really funny. I'll tell it again or whatever. But... Basically, I told the story about how, like, on the bus that one time, I got yelled at by a crazy person, and he was yelling anti-gay slurs at me. And then, you know, like, half an hour later, the my baby was in the office, and then Chib said, what? You're friends with the baby? Pretty problematic. And I said, no, we're not friends anymore after that fucked up stuff he said to me on the bus. Which is... Funny because the baby got canceled for saying some pretty fucked up homophobic stuff. So that's, it's not funny that he said it, but the callback is hilarious in many ways. Okay, boff me. We need a stronger camel. Now tell the bus story about the, the celery and the hickeys. I don't even remember, like, 
that was so long ago. That was probably like right after I moved to Vancouver. I told you we need a stronger camel. I don't even remember. I have a vague recollection of sitting behind somebody on the bus that was just eating celery out the bag. And then his girlfriend maybe was like, she was macking on him while he was eating the celery. And you're like, how could you not? I mean, he's eating the celery, you know? What's not to like? We're not, we haven't paid out the believers yet? I thought we were having an incredible run. Oh, this is bad, man. Never mind, it's fine. All of these stories are, are genuinely real, by the way, even though they sound insane. But legitimately, yes, one time we were in the vet and we had Tomo in the cat carrier. There was another older woman in the veterinarian's office and she looked into the cat carrier and said, you need to give that big pussy some air. That, that for real happened. I swear on Pope Francis, those exact words happened. And I was like, so true. You know what? It's time for some new tech. One up, Scorpion. I rolled past the kangaroo. Oh, you can hit the question mark all you want. It just shows your own ignorance. First Scorpion breaks the melon armor. Second Scorpion gets the kill. Oh, what the fuck? That's a damn scam, man. <laughs> Second scorpion? Yeah, from the one-up, but we didn't have a scorpion. It doesn't lose, it loses the poison on the first one. Then when it comes back, it has poison again. All right, we can't end on that one. I was gonna, but we can't. We pay out the doubters. Does it work like that? Yeah, we've done it like 10 times. Can't end on a loss. Okay, arena mode. What the hell? Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Be the hot geyser. I don't even, like, I don't, uh, I'm not outside of the house enough to have, like, you know, a, a surplus of crazy stories. I honestly just think if you live in basically any major city, if you spend some time in the downtown core, you will just see some stuff that makes you go like, all right. Well, it's a strong beetle, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, we'll do it. This might be a good freeze. I, I, this level two Dodo's got a good chance, man. Help. Okay, there's some copium involved here, but we, we got a lot of things to sell. Like, this is heavy. Sell me. Sell me. Freeze me. Pill me. I'm insane. I've lost my mind. Buy me? What the hell am I doing? Buy me? What is happening? <laughs> this is... It, this is not that bad? It's, it's actually kind of cracked with it? Holy cow. Yeah, yeah, take one of these. I think you could say something about a camel here, man. We just got to get it popping 
quickly enough. Or we could put two hedgehogs in front, and then, and then you'll all be sorry. I mean, and then we'll get some wins. It's just that easy. How is the Zane always coming out on top? Well, like, it. We lost a lot today. Like, I can't even pretend. We've spent a lot of time getting destroyed. It's been a pretty bad day for winning. On the other hand, we're also cracked. There is that. I should... Dude, one more... One more crab? No, not yet. You get one unit scaling like a son of a gun, and then you toss another crab in, and you get all the benefits of it. Okay, this is bad, but that's okay. <gasps> December 31st, 2021. Just everybody relax. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, how do we win this one? We got one life till lethality. Rears his ugly head. You know you got a bias, so don't even talk to me. Um, I feel like I would, like, maybe a penguin is the way that we get out of this, but, but how? Okay, we got it. We got some very weak units here, so garlic will help. Pill the sloth. You know what? You, you, peace. You catch me in a Ron Burgundy moment, I might actually pill the sloth, okay? I don't think we're gonna... Paid actor? I don't think we're gonna win this one, but it's possible. Keep scaling this crab. Didn't have to scale it, man. It could have... You know what? Freeze it and then scale another unit. Then the crab can piggyback off of it. Freeze it. One big unit, please. Okay, salad me. We can do... We can do a cupcake crab moment on the next turn. This is big garlic. I mean... Let's not even worry about 10 wins. Let's just focus on, like, the Believers having a chance right now. I'm now... My brain is ready to go. <laughs> should take one of those. Roll me once. Fair. Buy me. That's a 5 HP upgrade. I'm going to roll for some better animals. I think it's more important for us. I, I feel like we're going to lose this one. We're going to have to sell the penguin roll a, a snail. I could be wrong, though. Let's see. You got a sloth. It's a, it's a new era. I did indeed get a sloth. I love that we haven't rolled into any oxes so far. That's like a huge help. Unfreeze me. If, if we're dancing with the one that brought us... We're sending ya. We're selling ya. I know it's, it's risky, but just work with me. We're feeding you because then a crab can piggyback for three gold. We can roll a penguin again next turn. A level three dodo. How delightful. The sloth, he's just along for the ride for now, but... That chili pepper, a little spicy. I love garlic armor. Any garlic enjoyers in the chat? Right off the bat, believers get paid out. That's the first milestone. Sell me. Buy me. Not yet. Although a mammoth one-up, kind of interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. I 
think maybe we take a cat. And I do mean maybe. We're going to be trying to buff those three units that are actually doing things. Anytime we get two kills, I'm loving life, man. Tiger Sloth. <laughs> I think you're going to need one of those. Keep sending it. No, oh, baby. Please. Just one at a time. One at a time. That's a strong HP unit. It's not that strong, though. There's a win. Hear me out. We're going to cupcake you. We're going to look for a crab. Not yet. Take one of those for now. We didn't get a crab, clearly, at this point. Kind of overshot it. You know what? You could use some melon armor as well. Please. Please. This is scary. I always think we're going to crush these teams, and then the... Then they just sustain like way longer than I think they're able to. Never mind! Just put the sloth in the Hall of Fame. That's all I want to see. Okay. Somebody. Get this man a steak. No steak. No steak for you. That's fine. We'll wait for the next round. Put him in the Hall of Fame. Oh my god. We actually did it. Print screen? Careful, he's a hero. I can't believe... <laughs> if I had gotten the nine wins, that would have kept me up at night. But a 10-win run, the first time we saw a sloth ever. Some things are too good to be true. Happy New Year.